this video is always be shilling. And in that spirit, please check out the Indiegogo campaign that's linked right below for my novel Wilshire Boulevard. Because if I don't shill for it, who will? Which is of course the whole point of this video. You see, nobody is gonna shill your shit. Whatsoever it is that you're selling or providing for people. You're a dentist, you're a lawyer, a doctor, whatever the fuck it is, see? Nobody's gonna go around saying that they should hire you. You have to go out and do it for yourself. Same with any business or any product that you're selling. This is an embarrassing fact of life. The, the notion that you have to go out and shill for yourself, but it's the truth. And we all feel embarrassed about it. We all feel dreadfully embarrassed, but mortified, frankly. I mean, in my own case, fuck yeah. It took me several decades, really, to get over the cringe factor of shilling. One time, I'm in Paris, right? And this is like the late 90s. And I walk into this bookstore, right, in central Paris. I walk in there with my then girlfriend, and uh, I look around at the books, and lo and behold, I find my own novel, right, in translation, yeah. And it was just really cool. I mean, I was like really happy about it, right? My girlfriend was incredibly impressed, right, that we'd walked into this uh, bookstore in the middle of Paris, and there I was, uh, my name on the title, my picture on the back flap, right? And she was all super excited about it. And what did I do? I was like, eh, 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 oh, no, it's embarrassing, I'll leave you alone, uh, don't, don't talk to me, ah! I act like a goddamn baby, to tell you the truth. I was like a fucking idiot, right? It was a cool thing. A very cool thing. And uh, rather than just be proud of it, I was all embarrassed. But worse, now that I think back on it, what I should have done is I should have taken that book to the manager, the store manager, and said, here, you carry this book and I'm the author. I, I could have shown him my ID, my passport or whatever to prove that it was me, right? And I could have told him, look, why don't you do an event and I'll be happy to show up and sign autographs and talk about the book and all the rest of it for your, your customers, for your diehard customers, right? I should have done that. I should have shilled. And instead, you know, I was like 30 years old at the time and I was just too embarrassed. I was just, you know, ashamed. I found it cringy to have to go out and do the ugly business of selling. But see, it is an ugly business and you have to do it. In whatever it is that you're doing, in life. You're, you have a business, you have a flower shop, you have a company, you're a lawyer, a dentist, whatever the fuck it is. Unfortunately, you have to go out and shill because nobody's going to do it for you. Think about what shilling is. Shilling is telling people about your business, what you are doing, what you are offering to them, right? That's what it is. Now, the fact of the matter is, if you don't do it, who will? I mean, what, is, is like God up in heaven, is he going to beam like the knowledge into the heads of all the people that you want to be your paying customers? Is that how it's gonna work? Do you think that's gonna happen? Huh? You tell me, yes or no, huh? Of course it's not gonna happen. See, there, there isn't a God in the sky who's gonna beam the information of whatever it is you're hoping to sell to all your potential customers. You have to go out and do that. And that's the ugly business of selling. Because my suspicion is that when we do it, we feel like frauds. When we go out there and tell people, oh, this book that I wrote, Wilshire Boulevard, it's so fantastic, you should go check it out. We feel like frauds. I think that that's the problem. We feel that we're like somehow fooling people or, or somehow cheating them, which is absurd, of course. You know, like the book, right? It's right here. Here's the manuscript. I wrote the fucking thing, right? All the pages right here. It's real. And I think it's pretty decent, right? It's a real thing, and yet for some reason we feel as if we are cheating the person or we're somehow fooling them or taking them for a ride. And you have to ignore that feeling. It, it's, I think it's just a natural embarrassment, that cringe factor, and you have to ignore it. You have to realize that what you're doing is perfectly legitimate, perfectly fine, and you have to go out there and knock on doors. And you have to go out there and show people why they should hire you, why your product is the best, why your store or the service that you provide is better than any of your competitors, or at least as good as any of your competitors. You have to do that 
And whatever qualms, whatever squeamishness you have, you got to get over it. The fact of the matter is that the people who get over the squeamishness, the people who go out there and shill their shit, they shill their profession or they shill their product or whatever it is, those are the people who succeed. And the people who are too good to shill, they're the people who fail. And that's a fact of life. You heard that expression, the squeaky wheel gets the grease? Yeah, well, the loud mouth gets paid attention to. The loud mouth, the guy who's out there shilling, people hear about what he's doing and they decide to at least check it out. They might think that he's a clown for shilling so hard for his product, right? But even if they think that he's a clown, they'll show up and they'll look through whatever it is that he's selling and they might buy it, which is to your benefit. Don't be afraid of shilling. Don't feel embarrassed by it. It's natural to feel embarrassed, but you got to get over that. You got to kill that feeling and you just got to go out there and do it. And the best way, of course, to get over a hump that you might have is to practice it relentlessly. The way to practice shilling relentlessly is to find some job in sales. Yeah, find the job, especially when you're young, some job that you can do for a while, you know, six months a year, where you have to go out and sell telemarketers, that kind of shit, that's always good. You know, and of course, it's gonna be uncomfortable, you're gonna feel like shit, but you're gonna get better at it. You're gonna get better at it and you're gonna get over this natural reticence that you have. And you have to get over it. I, I, I keep on repeating this, but you have to understand, see, nobody is going to shill for you. There is no way for you to like simply hire somebody to shill for you. You can't, you gotta do it yourself. Even the biggest companies have found out that they can't really hire public relations firms. They can't really hire like outside marketing firms. They have to do it themselves because if they don't do it themselves, nobody else is gonna do it or at least not do it well. You have to shill for yourself. And here's the next thing, see? The next embarrassing thing, but you have to do it. Whenever you have the opportunity to shill, shill. Whenever you have a chance to talk to somebody about what you do, about your product, even a potential friend, even if you're thinking, you know, this guy's really cool, but I don't want to show what I do because, you know, it would turn, you know, potential friendship into a transactional thing. Kill that voice. Kill it. And shill. You have to. Why do you have to? Because if you don't shill and you don't sell in this economy, in the society that we live in, you're going to die you're gonna go broke. You're gonna be fucked beyond all repair. See what I'm saying? Yeah, because in this economy, in this society, it's every man for himself. You can pretend that you don't have to shill if you're working at some big corporation, some big corporation where you have a secure job. Sure, you can pretend that you don't shill, but the second you lose that job, that nice, safe corporate job, and you gotta go out into the job market, what the fuck you think you gotta do? You gotta go out there and shill. And it's an ugly thing. It's an ugly thing and it's an embarrassing thing. And worst of all is that a lot of like the cool kids, they always sort of like look down at those who shill. You know, notice that the guys who are most successful, they act as if their success didn't come from shilling that it was like an act of magic, that it sort of just happened that they succeeded. But you gotta hustle. Oh yes, you gotta hustle. You gotta hustle, you gotta move your ass. You gotta go up to people, shill your shit, and the second you're done shilling, you gotta go to the next guy. You gotta hustle. That's the only way to make it. There are no shortcuts to success in life. Sometimes somebody might get lucky, like, you know, win the lottery or some shit like that, and they don't actually have to shill anymore. Or maybe they inherited family money or some crap like that. Again, they won the lottery, the genetic lottery, the, 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 the lottery of birth, right? But at the end of the day, everybody has to shill. The people who are more successful in their business are the people who wind up making more money. And the people who wind up making more money, unfortunately, they're the ones with the better life. Do you wanna have a better life or do you wanna have a shitty life? Uh, that's ultimately the choice.
So the issue becomes, do you want to embarrass yourself and shill and wind up with a pretty decent life with a lot of money? Or, or do you want to, you know, be, be cool and, and like, uh, 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 I'm not going to shill for anybody and wind up in the fucking poor house? Huh? Uh, which is it going to be? You tell me. And while you're thinking that thought, please go check out my Indiegogo campaign for Wilshire Boulevard.